Hi, I'm Todd Anderson with SolarTube International. We're here today at Amco Structures to demonstrate the installation of a SolarTube 750DS into a commercial container. This container has been converted into a mobile research laboratory that will be used by a local California university. Okay, we're here on the roof of the container, and as you can see, the manufacturers provided a 22-inch opening for us. On a corrugated roof like this, you'll either need a welded metal curb or a welded flat plate, as you can see here. One of the first steps is proper flashing placement. As you can see here, the manufacturer has already traced the flashing and centered it appropriately. For this installation, we need the opening to be snug around the tube. In order to do that, we need to assemble the tube so we can use it as a template. First, we want to remove the liner from the tubing. Now that the liner's off, we can assemble the tube. In order to do that, we need to weave the, tab, weave the tube into the tabs. In this case, it's an open ceiling. We want to use the large opening, so we want to have it in the shallow notching. Weave through the center. and into the shallow notching again. This will make a wide opening all the way through. We'll secure the seam with the foil tape. The foil tape has a pressure sensitive adhesive that you want to push down in order to make a bond. Now that that's assembled, we can place the tube ring right on top. There's four tabs that you can see here that are going to line up with the notches on the tube. And those just fit right on top of there. We can now take the tube and set it inside so we can use this as a template. The template we're, we're going to scribe on here is for the ceiling opening. So I'm going to take a pencil and just mark the inside diameter so that we have a, a template in place. Now that that's marked, we can remove this so that we can make our opening. So now that we have the tube traced for our template, we're going to remove the flashing so that we can make our opening. To allow access for our saw, we're going to use a paddle bit to start our opening. So now that our opening's cut, we can set our flashing. So what we need to do on this here, because it's a flat plate, we need to use our butyl uh, tape seal as a water barrier between the flashing and the flat plate. So we're going to use this butyl tape right around the perimeter of the flashing edge here. So now that we have the butyl seal in place, we can flip the flashing and set it. So now that the flashing is in place, we're going to fasten it to the deck using inch and a half tech screws. So you can see here, these tech screws provide a water barrier with that rubber grommet that they have on them. This is the preferred method for metal-to-metal -metal, uh, flashing. So now that all the fasteners are set, we can finish assembling the tube so we can install it. So to finish assembling the tube, we need to take our foil tape and attach the tube ring to the tube. So we'll take our foil tape and apply it halfway on each side. Once we've reached the other side, we can just tear the tape 
and because it has a pressure sensitive adhesive, we want to use something to seam it down. Okay, so now that the tube ring is fastened to the tube, we can add the butyl rope seal. The butyl rope seal is going to be installed right on the underside of the tube ring. This is going to provide a water barrier between the flashing and the tube ring. If there's excess butyl tape, just take a knife and cut the remainder right on the edge. Okay, now that the butyl tape is in place, we can get our diffuser ready. So here, we want to take our diffuser, and on the diffuser, there's tabs. There's four tabs. They're going to line up with these tabs that are on the tubing. And what we'll do is we'll just set those right over the top. On the outside is a little line. It's a little difficult to see, but there's a little line here that will help guide and line up those tabs onto those other tabs. Once the diffuser's in place, we're just gonna take a knife and we're gonna lightly score a line to give us a template for the, for the tape. Okay, and then we can just lightly push in the tube that we can release the diffuser. So now that we've scored the tube, we have a line that will help guide the diffuser seal. So we'll take our diffuser seal and just above the scored line, we'll apply it to the tubing. With the diffuser seal in place, we can now install the tubing. Because we've made the opening snug, we're going to install the diffuser from the bottom. So now that the tube is snug to the flashing, we can install the dome. So the first thing we have to do is install the dome seal. So we're going to take the dome seal and remove the paper backer from it, and we're going to install it on the bottom edge of the flange of the flashing. So about a quarter inch from the base of the flange. So with the dome seal in place, we can now take the dome and install the three spacers. With the spacers inserted and the dome in place, we can now add the fasteners. So with our dome fasteners, we can insert them right through the spacer so that we can fasten the dome to the flashing. So with all three fasteners in place, the dome is set and secure. So we finished up on the rooftop, and now we're inside the container. And as you can see, the solar tube daylighting system is providing ample daylight. So to complete the installation, we'll need to install the diffuser. So we'll line up the tabs on the diffuser with the tabs on the tubing. Once the tabs are aligned around the tube, just push until they're seated in place. So this completes our installation of a Solotube 750DS into a mobile research container. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.